Hey y'all, it's Sheree. What's up? How you doing? Let's get into this video. Today, I will be comparing two very popular products right now, the Texture ID Styling Cream, as well as the Melanin Hair Care Twist Elongating Style Cream by our very own Natural 85. Let's start with the Melanin Hair Care Twisting Cream. My hair is already conditioned. I did apply a leave-in. I will link it down below. So I'm starting off with a heaping handful of this stuff. I am very heavy handed, so there's that. As well as I'm applying it to a huge section. So I'm just going in with the styling cream. It smells like cocoa butter, it doesn't really have a scent. This product retails for $16.99 American dollars for 16.1 fluid ounces so you're looking at about a dollar an ounce the first five ingredients in this product are water shea butter glycerol stearate caprylic caprate triglyceride and stearate 20. i do have a first impressions video on this product if you haven't seen it definitely check it out for my opinion on it and then I just twist up the section and I move on to the next section. And of course, I gotta give you the bird man hands, honey. Yes. <laughs> if you're not smoothing in your product, then you're not doing it right, okay? Honestly, this product made my hair feel really good in applying it. It applied to my hair very smoothly. I must admit, it does apply better on damp hair than it does dry hair. The first time I applied this product, my hair was pretty much dry. And applying it on damp hair, I definitely feel the difference. In my previous video, I said I didn't like how it, how it applied. But this product, to me, works better on damp or wet hair. So that's just the tip. So now let's go into the Texture ID product. I also have a first impressions on this product. I used it for a wash and go, click the cards and check it out. Look at my face. I'm really like shook by how soft and smooth my hair feels when I apply it. This product retails for $9 for 12 ounces. That's about 75 cents per ounce. If those of you who are into that type of numbers and whatnot when i use this product for a wash and go by itself which is how a lot of people use it it was a fail for me so i've decided to use it as a twisting product the first five ingredients in this product are water safflower seed oil glycerin coconut oil and phenol which is a preservative so you have a preservative in the first five products first five ingredients excuse me of this product so that just tells you the type of product that you're getting um mm, shade but no shade but besides that it does apply well into my hair um it doesn't do much for definition upon applying neither of them do but my hair did feel soft and smooth applying the texture ID. And I must admit, it works way better for a twist out than it does a wash and go. And I'm just keeping it completely 100. Now I'm deciding between which styler I should use between a gel and a foam. But I think I'm just going to go with a foam. Honestly, neither of these products work well by themselves. For a twist out, I've tried both for a twist out. The melanin I did in my last video or a few videos ago and a texture idea I did off camera. They both need a styler. I've decided not to use a gel because I want to do a wash and go with the melanin. So I'm just, you know, trying to try it with different products. So I decided to use a twisting foam instead for a three strand twist out. I'm using the Cantu mousse. I will leave it down below. And yeah, I just twist my hair up and I'm going to do that throughout my entire head. Um, ain't really much to it. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm just really shook by how long my hair is getting. And then I struggle for a while trying to show you how much I use. And... Hmm. 
But yeah, I use about two pumps. I know that's pretty heavy-handed for some people, but that's what I do. Do what you want to do. Use how much product works for you and your household. But for me and mine, we use two pumps per section. I mean, I'm not apologizing. Yeah, and I just twist it up. Again, this is a three-strand twist out. I don't know the last time I've done a two-strand twist out when I was really taking myself seriously because I do prefer the look of a three-strand. I also did trim off some color damage because if y'all don't know, I did get color damage. I will link a video all about my color damage and all that stuff in the cards. And for the Texture ID side, what I noticed is that although I use pretty much the same amount of foam, this side foamed up so much. Like, I apply the same amount of mousse, but look how foamy and soapy my hair looks. I'm not sure why that is. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't really break the ingredients down to find out. That's just something I observe. It's nothing bad. I just wanted to say that because I know it looks like I use way more foam on this side, but I didn't. I promise I didn't. And this is what my hair looks like. Honestly, the twists look about the same. The Texture ID just looks like it has more product because it's foamy, but they look the same. Honestly, they kind of feel the same. I can't tell much of a difference right now. So this is two days later because my hair takes forever to dry and I'm just feeling the twists. And again, <laughs> and again. They feel pretty much the same. I cannot tell a difference. So now I'm just going to take it down and I'm not applying any oil or anything like that because I usually don't do that. I know a lot of naturals do, but I do not. So now I'm just taking down the Texture ID side and you can watch me as I do that. Cause I ain't got no more to say right now. What side do you think looks better so far? What side do you think? Come on, what side, what side? Comment down below and let me know right now which side you think is winning so far. And now I'm just gonna pick it out because I want some volume. What you think? What you think? What you what what you think? Yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. And I think there's a clear winner already. So I just applied my makeup and while I did that, I just put my hair back in a ponytail. I do that to stretch my hair as well as to get it out of my face while I do some makeup. Now, I'm just picking it out again just to get, you know, the volume back in it and yeah, this is pretty much the finished results you can see the difference for sure for the melanin side in my opinion it has way more definition way more definition way more shine it looks way better has more elongation has more volume and the melanin just has way better ingredients bomb y'all bomb now let's talk about the Texture ID side. It is more affordable than the Melanin Hair Care for, for like 25 cents an ounce. Because of the consistency of the Texture ID, it does spread on my hair a lot better. It means that it smooths onto my hair strands a lot nicer than the Melanin Hair Care. The Melanin Twisting Cream is a lot thicker, so it's just a bit harder to kind of move it on your hair. And this is a close-up of what it looks like so by no means does it look bad but I would have to give it to natural I'm sorry like this is just a much better product at least in this comparison but thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later oh and let me know which product you think worked better because sometimes y'all see stuff I don't see so yeah mm, peace